eating my dinner right now. You know, it's really, to me, there is no time frame. Excuse me. There is no food that is appropriate only for morning, afternoon, nighttime. If you want to eat pancakes and cereal at night, go ahead and do it. It's all food. It doesn't make you any bad person. It doesn't make you any less of a person to eat cereal at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You can eat cereal at 3.55 at, at night. Nothing wrong with that. Because all they all, every, every um, like, lunch, you know, dinner, it all means the same thing. It's a verb, like, luncheon, you know, dining, break breakfast, breaking a fast. You know, when you wake up, you didn't eat for all the time you were asleep. You're breaking that fast. But it doesn't have, there's no rules in the time you eat food. But, um, I'm trying to think, what else I going to talk about in this video? I'm just talking about how I left, I lost my 12th birthday. Oh yeah, family. So, you know my my uh, opinion on family at my age and everything I've been through. I come to the understanding that family is no different than strangers in the street, the people you work with at your jobs, people you go to school with, people you um, you you associate with. That it, it's all the same thing, as in. There is a time frame for how much your family will do for you, whether you are male or female in some cases. It's like this. Let me just put it like this. When you're a kid, when you're a child, you're lied to by your parents. They don't really tell you everything out of, I guess, they, they lie but in a good way, because they don't want you to know the realities of being an adult just yet. They don't tell you is everything they tell you. <laughs> I keep saying everything they tell you. Everything they they tell you as a kid is really nothing you're going to experience when you are an adult. Living on your own, paying for your own stuff, everything. They don't tell you how much jobs suck. They don't tell you how much things cost i mean it's not bad if you live alone you're not dating and that has its advantages because being single with no children you deal with less problems as you would you know having kids like this do that my job i don't i don't as messed up as things can be for me at times well what it, what they can perceive to be messed up but i'm trying to do better I'm glad I don't have a next girlfriend of mine taking money out of my check every every week for child support. That's something I would never want to deal with. But um, everybody there is essentially uh, virtually messed up in some kind of way financially, you know, maybe with child support, maybe with debt, maybe with bills. So. I don't, I don't take it no kind of way if they think of anything of me because I'm like, if you were better than me, you wouldn't be working here. You would be doing better. But that's what we all, at least what I'm trying to do is do better. But, fam but back to family. Family, to me, at my age, is just, it's just a word. You know, over the reality is you all will go your own way the older you get. You'll stop talking to each other less and less. You drift apart from people. And you realize the whole time you were nothing but just a roommate of this person. You just were a housemate of this person. So the older you get, the less obligated they feel to do and, and talk to you. And just deal with you as a person. Because when you're a child, when you're young, you're a baby, they have that power over you to do for you, but to do for you what they feel you need. 
see, when you're a baby, when you're a child, they can control you. They control. See, they don't have that power when you're 18. They don't have that power over you to tell you to go to your room, you know, tell you to eat this for dinner, tell you to take out the trash. They can just get rid of you anytime they want to. But when you live under their roof and when you're a child, they have that control over you. But you're no use. You know, you're no, you're nothing when you, you don't they don't have control over you anymore. That's why 18 is like the age where they they feel like you you're an adult. But that's when you you're not as cute no more. Eighteen, you know, you start growing. You like you you start um you start you're growing up at that point. But I want to say that, like I said, when you're a child, the thing, the reason why they care more when you're a child versus an adult is because they have more control over you. They don't have that control over you when you're 25 years old. But when you're seven years old with um, your teeth falling out and your, and your adult teeth coming in, you're starting the first grade, learn, like you already learned how to ride a bike, now you're learning how to do math. Like I said, they can control you, they can manipulate you, they can teach you. Um, you have more, you have more, um, I'm not, where am I going with this video? My point I'm trying to make is kids can be controlled, but adults can't be controlled. When you're no longer under their control, you're no, you're no good to them anymore. And this is kind of like, I guess you could say American families, because I noticed with a lot of other cultures, they do stick together. I mean, maybe if when they just come out to when they come to America, they do stick together. But in a lot of American families, you just learn the harsh reality of being an adult. But to me, family is just a it's just a word. It's a word that that has a lot of meanings to it. But you realize that. These are just people that you are been, you're around. Yeah, you're, you're sometimes forced to be around, or just you run into based on marriage, marriage, and relationships. Because there's not a lot of marriage in black communities, but relationships. Like, yeah, that's your uncle, your uncle Edward right now. I don't have an uncle Edward, but that's your uncle Edward right there. That's your uncle. Um, and these people, they don't do nothing to you. Like, you don't know. When you're a kid, you don't know um, Uncle Edward. You don't know Uncle Uncle Jerome. I think I have Uncle Jerome. I'm just, I'm just naming names right now. But when you're a kid, you know, you don't care about none of these people. You don't care with, unless they give you something, you know. Because, like, I'm just saying to myself, um, you see things a lot differently as a kid. But it's a it's a few people in my family. It's like um I'm kind of like all over the place with video. But it's a few people in my family. Just looking back, I just I just asked myself like, man, did he go to jail for like any kind of like child abuse, like like sexual child abuse? Because I was just I was telling myself one day I just said, man, um, it's a like a it was I just say a fa a family member of mine. He. There's some really weird stuff, and I'm just saying, man, did he ever go to jail for something like this? Cause like as an as a kid, you don't think much of it, but you're just like, man, let me look up if 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 I could, let me get his last name and look up his public records. Cause this dude, he did some weird stuff when I was a kid. But and not that anything happened to me, but it's just that I just thought about it. I just said, man, that we had some weird conversations, you know. But back to but like I said, family. Family is, it's a word I don't, I don't use, you know, be very careful using that word family because you realize you don't really have much in common with these people, the older you get, you know, you realize like your personalities are different. You're just forced or you just happen to be in the same room or the same area of this person based on relationships and marriage. But the older you get, the, really, the more you realize there ain't no family out here. There ain't no family. You only family you have. That's facts.